Emma Darcy is on fire as Rhaenyra in HBO's House of the Dragon. So why is the internet obsessed with the Brits' exquisite taste in cocktails? And did Darcy really never watch Game of Thrones? In recent years, there's been a tangible shift in the number of celebrities who feel safe to openly disclose their gender identity as being neither strictly male nor female. House of the Dragon star Emma Darcy favors gender-neutral they-them pronouns. In a discussion with Interview magazine, Darcy discussed gender identification, saying, "...House of the Dragon is the first job in which I've brought my non-binary identity to work. And part of that was because HBO asked me what pronouns I use, and I thought a lot about whether this was the right time." Darcy elaborated that there was a time when identity and career felt like they had to be two separate and distinct zones, so presenting as non-binary to the professional world was an important decision. Darcy explained, "...the reason I decided to be honest in my presentation professionally is that I really hope that younger people who want to do this work know that there is absolutely space and that space is opening up." As the star explained to The Hollywood Reporter, Rhaenyra Targaryen's experiences with gender politics hit close to home. Darcy said, "...she's terrified of getting locked into motherhood and is aware of how her position would be different if she were male. I'm a non-binary person, I've always found myself both pulled and repelled by masculine and feminine identity, and I think that plays out truthfully here." And I think, broadly, Rhaenyra is a person trying to find a way to live authentically. Emma Darcy was born in London and later moved to Oxford, attending the University of Oxford's Ruskin School of Art. There, Darcy studied fine art, not acting, as one might assume. The discipline didn't have much to do with cameras, sets, and memorizing dialogue, but at the end of the day, Darcy was still naturally drawn to the craft of acting. Speaking to Interview, Darcy explained, "...I started playing with the form much more when I was at university, making theater with friends in our spare time." The actor's love of performing began in childhood, Darcy told Interview. "...The first time I ever had that incredible, adrenalized buzz of performing in front of someone was when I played Titania in a children's production of A Midsummer Night's Dream. Initially, I was doing quite a lot of set design, and then some acting and set design, and then some directing, some acting, and some set design." Having established a love of the stage, Darcy went on to land roles in theater productions like Romeo and Juliet and The Crucible. The rising star also began to work on the small screen, portraying a haunted woman in Truth Seekers and appearing alongside Toni Collette in Wanderlust. Emma Darcy revealed to Vogue in August 2022 that the House of the Dragon audition was shrouded in mystery, at least for certain actors, like Darcy, who hadn't seen any Game of Thrones. Darcy told the magazine, "...I'm very naive, and the job was untitled, so I thought it was just another fantasy series." But Darcy told Interview that not being a Thrones fan at the time was a good thing, saying, "...I hadn't seen it before I auditioned, which I honestly think is the only reason I'm able to do the job. There's no way I'd have made it through the audition process if, at the time, I had the love for the show that I have now. I think I'd have buckled under the pressure." Darcy has now reportedly consumed every episode and read the books, the Rhaenyra Targaryen actor's favorite Game of Thrones characters, the White Walkers, Tyrion Lannister, and the Hound, actually. Love the Hound. Hound. Had my heart. You know you have really made it to the big time when something you say becomes an instant TikTok trend. What started as a simple interview between Darcy and co-star Olivia Cook spiraled into every person of drinking age wanting to go to a bar and order Darcy's drink of choice. A Negroni. I was going to say the same thing. Magliato. Yeah. Mm. With Prosecco in it. Oh, stunning. Yeah. Following the drink reveal, some 16,000 videos were apparently made with TikTokers repeating Darcy's drink order and emulating the actress' effortlessly cool vibe as best they could. According to BBC Good Food, the classy and fairly potent cocktail contains Campari, sweet vermouth, and is bubbled up to the top of a highball glass with Prosecco, rather than the traditionally used gin. Cheers! In a delightful interview with LUK, Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook revealed all sorts of fun, personal facts that only made us fall deeper in love with them. The duo spoke, giggled, and burped through the majority of the interview, highlighting just how at ease the two are with each other. In their on-camera discussion, Darcy and Cook covered just about everything, chatting about their House of the Dragon co-stars, what languages they wished they spoke, and what music they were currently listening to. They also discussed things they were good at. I'm very good at painting and decorating. Wallpapering is another of Darcy's specialties, which makes sense. Just a quick glance at the actor's Instagram page reveals that the Ruskin School of Art graduate has a strong eye for composition and design. Some actors come together for a project and their relationship remains professional, ending as quickly as the project itself does. For others, their bond and friendship extend long past filming schedules and show premieres. We expect that the latter may be the case with House of the Dragon stars Emma Darcy and Olivia Cook. While the actors play rivals on camera, they are anything but in real life. Speaking of the first time they met Cook, Darcy told Entertainment Weekly, 
I fell in love with her in about 45 seconds, while I probably worked quite hard to cover that up. The actor affectionately added, You know those chance meetings that happen where there's a familiarity? For some unknown reason, I really felt that with Liv. It sounds like the feeling is very much reciprocated. In an HBO Max interview between the two, Cook was asked by her co-star about her first impression of Darcy. Cook summed it all up with a single word. Just like, oh, home. Do you know what I mean? 